Hey, welcome aboard Flight 172 from Grand Rapids. Today's just practice day, so what I thought I would do is take you around the pattern with me. All I'm going to do is um, fly around the patch, if you will, and um, not I don't have any specific plans other than we're going to do some takeoffs and landings. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm driving with my feet. Um, and uh, the wind is really light today. And to be honest, I can't tell which direction the wind is actually going. It's that light. So we're going to kind of go down. It's the last measurement uh, from the weather was uh, three knots, which is uh, almost too light to measure. So um, we're just going to go with the, the main runway that, that everybody always uses. And uh, I'll just take you around with me if that's okay. Um, you know, I don't do flying lessons. I'm not a, I'm not an instructor. I don't get paid to do this. I don't get paid to make videos. So this is just a little freebie for fun kind of thing. And kind of along the same, you know, vein. I did a, a video last year that, you know, about how snowmobilers really are would make really good pilots. And uh, I still believe that, that snowmobilers would make good pilots. You know, snowmobilers are used to risk management. And uh, that's a lot of what, besides your, your operating machine, you're uh, managing the risk, and you're going places and doing things that you don't normally get to do, which is basically what snowmobiling is. So I think, to me, that's the perfect fit. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is do we're going to do a quick run up and then uh, then I will take off. Um, the pattern is a rectangular diagram around the airport with the runway being one of the legs. So that's the long way. And then you do a short leg and then a long leg again and then a short leg and it's all left hand turns all right so we got to do a check we got to do a run up here all right brakes set and hold i have to i'm going to set it and i'm also going to hold it cabin doors and windows secure flight controls we got to check those left hand up right and down flight controls are free and clear Flight instruments, I have to match the compass. Right now I'm at about uh, 25 degrees, so we want to be, we're real close to that right here. Artificial horizon looks good. Um, and altimeter I did set, and the um, transponder is set. My radios are set, intercom is set. Um, you know what? Let's do a trim. That's set. Fuel selector is on both. Mixture is full rich. We'll go to 1700 RPMs. And we'll check the mags. There's the right mag. There's the left mag. Or vice versa, I don't know. They both dropped about 100, which is, in, which is in the range. Carb heat drops the RPMs a little bit. I've got good oil pressure, good oil temperature, and good suction. All right, uh, my intercom, as I said, that was on. The radios are on. Max, 125 RPM drop. They were both about 90 to 100 or so, very similar. Carb heat was checked, instruments are all green, suction is green, throttle to 1,000, radios are set, 122.8, lights are all on, transponder set to altitude, time and temperature I don't worry about, flaps are up, brakes, traffic check, radio call, and we are ready to go. All right, we got to close the window. Both doors are locked. All right, takeoff is at, uh, rotate is about 55 knots. 
Should leave the ground at about 60, 65, something like that. That would be nice. Accelerate in ground effect for a little bit, then we're going to climb out. Optimum climbing speed is around 75, I believe, in this airplane. It says 70 to 80. So we're going to go 75 for the climb speed. We'll climb out. Um, uh, once we hit about uh, 2,000 ish uh, feet, then I can make my left hand turn. I usually try to turn a little bit late uh, because I like to have a little more altitude before I make that turn. So I'll make a turn to the left. We'll turn over Grand Rapids, climb to 2,300 uh, feet, and then level off and make another. That's about the time for another turn. We'll hold. 2300 feet and 80 knots coming back this way. We'll slow down once we get to the kind of the edge of the runway here. We'll cut the power, first notch flaps. We'll have to do some trimming. And then, uh, then uh, we'll come in to land and everything will be fine. All right, so let's see here. You know what, I feel like I'm a little too far away. So let's go. Let's go there. All right. And my seat is locked. Okay. I got nobody in sight. Grand Rapids traffic. Skyhawk 18 Delta taking off runway 34, Grand Rapids. My shoulder harness doesn't let me get lean down very much I can't see but I believe there's nobody coming there's virtually no crosswind I don't even know where to begin with the crosswind so we'll just go straight here right now the windsock looks like it's going straight down the runway I don't believe it though airspeed's alive I got 50 it's getting pretty light, 55, there's 60, 65, 70. And 75. So now we're just gonna climb, we're gonna hold that wide open throttle, 75 knots. A little hazy today. Okay, traffic on the 252 Alright, the airplane kind of settled into about 80, which is where it was trimmed, so I guess I probably should have left the trim where it was, so it was a little bit nose high. Okay, we're over 2,000 feet. Looking to my left, I don't see anybody. Left hand turn. Kind of hazy today. There we are, 2,300 feet. And we want to leave it at around, uh, there we go. Grand Rapids traffic, Skyhawk 1A Delta, turning left downwind, front way, 3 Ford, Grand Rapids. Okay, I overshot the altitude, we're at 3400, or 2400 right now. So I'm just going to let it come down here a little bit. And there is 2300. And we're still a little fast here. So, airplane is performing okay, really well. Warrior 44715, traffic 9 miles to the northwest, maneuvering 4,500. Okay. Traffic, uh, T2 Terra, we're inbound uh, from the south. Uh, the outer below 2,500, about 5 nautical miles from the airport. Okay, below us is Home Depot and Walmart. Right straight ahead of us is the field. In case we needed it. 
2,300 feet, 80 knots. I'm showing 1,800, uh, about 1,850 RPMs, which is a little on the low side. For this temperature, we probably want the carb heat out. I can't see the white arc from where I'm sitting, so I'm guessing that it's around, I think 2,000 is about the white arc, so. All right, we're beaming the numbers. This is where we get down to about, I don't know. I kind of overshot it again there, there we go. And we'll do one notch flaps. The airplane wants to pitch forward, so I'm gonna trim that out. One and a half. And we're descending, but we're not. Uh, Call me 2522 Sierra, and we're two knock miles. Airport in south, we're entering a left downwind for uh, 1 8. Okay. Okay, again, I'm not seeing any traffic. Left turn. Seventy five knots were perfect. I mean we can go a little lower. Um, and I did let myself kinda drift out from the runway. So I went straight south instead of uh, the runway heading. Yeah, there's gonna be two five two there. We're uh, now in the left down one one eight. Okay. We'll do another notch of flaps. Gas is on both, make sure full rich. Carb heat is out. Don't you think you could do this? I think you could. Grand Rapids traffic, Skyhawk 1A Delta, turning final for runway 34, Grand Rapids. I overshot the runway, which I typically do, and even, you know, you can say, well, because the wind was behind you, no, it wasn't, not today. Okay, we, we got down to 70 knots there, we can bleed it down to about 65, there it is. We get down to the runway here, and um, this airplane floats like crazy. So as soon as we get into ground effect, this, we got to be on the airspeed. We're too fast here. I got 70. I went back down. So here we are, 65, 60. Feels like I've got just a little bit of a left. There we go. All right, car beat is in. I don't like to leave that thing on any more than I have to. So what that does is it increases the temperature of the air going into the carburetor. And um, that is good for to keep uh, water vapor from freezing. Um, but uh, I, I just, when I'm on the ground, I don't like to use it. So that goes out right away. And flaps come up. We got a hold short line here. We'll go past the hold short line and we'll make sure the airplane is cleaned up. So I got um, everything pretty much cleaned up here. What do you think? Fun, right? <laughs>